So I'm gonna start a bonfire tonight. It's the death of you and I. Light up everything that's yours. Say goodbye. Hey, so you know what I love to do in my free time in Ark to get OP loot? Fishing. It's actually heavily underrated and actually gives some incredible stuff. With that also in mind, what better way to lead in today's sponsor than Fishing Clash? Fishing Clash is a free-to-play mobile game that is supported on both iOS and Android. There are hundreds of different fishing species for modern day fish and many of them actually resemble some prehistoric fish that you may remember from Ark, such as the normal salmon and the saber tooth salmon. You can collect and catch many different fish, buy new gear and equipment to increase your chances of catching bigger fish as well. My personal favourite point probably to fish is the Amazon River. Definitely the most scenic out of all of them. Fishing Clash also has many different hotspots around the world to fish in. Some of them you may actually know, such as Lake Loch Ness, the Amazon River, Lake Biwa and much much more. You can also duel, take part in big tournaments, challenges, win rewards, and much, much more. For all you PvP fanatics out there, there's also a duel mode where you can fish against other players. There are also weekly event and challenges for you. If you guys are interested in Fishing Clash, it is free to play, and obviously, as said before, it is on both mobile devices, so if you guys have either, you can have it no matter what. And if you do want to support me and help the channel in general, clicking that top link in the description for Fishing Clash and it'll be pinned in the comments is the best way to do it. Yeah, thank you Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video and let's continue onwards. Hello guys, so today's video is a lot different from what I would normally do. Now, I've never been one of those YouTubers that has actually uploaded like OP base spots, but with the release of Genesis 2, there is so many of them and I see so many people building in bad base spots, good base spots, those broken mesh holes that honestly should be bannable like if you're caught in those please just take the ban but uh yeah basically xanite and i compiled a list of a bunch of rat holes and uh duo spots solo spots six man spots and in this video we're going to show a lot of them now i'm not too sure on the specific like specific number i think we have like seven or eight uh maybe more but uh yeah if you guys are looking for a new genesis 2 spot that is like top tier and uh, has everything you need then uh stick around i hope everyone enjoys this video and uh yeah let's get into it also this list is in no particular order but if i was to give you guys like a, a particular uh, number one base spot on the map it's by far the underwater one you guys are going to know what i mean in the video but everyone's built there but uh yeah let's get into it Okay, coming in at one, we have this weird, like, sausage hole base spot. I'm not sure what to call this thing. It just looks like a bunch of, like, I don't know, tentacle rocks combined. Yeah, as you can see at the bottom of this hole, you may have seen this raid. I did it in a video. It's the perfect solo spot. You can fit, like, six foundations at the bottom of it, I think. If you place a heavy or two down there, and you're basically all good. Now, as I said, this video will contain, like, six-man spots and much, much more. But uh, quite a lot of these are solo and duo. But, uh, yeah. Now, base spot number two is actually one I don't think I've advertised before. This one is actually a really good rat hole if the wall is built correctly on it. Now, this is so spacious inside. If you didn't know, you can also build above on all the other structures. Rat hole also goes further and has another crack of space in it. Now this one is pretty OP. I'd say this spot is probably best for a 2 to 4 man. Nothing more because you'll run out of space very easily. But uh, yeah, that's number 2.
Okay, coming in at number three, we have one that's in like the middle left hand side of the corruption center. Chords on screen, as you can see. And this spot's a bit of a weird one. As you can see, you fly up in the roof. And we're going to call this one cable because it just looks like the inside of a cable wire. But yeah, this spot is mainly on the side for solos and duos. But as you can see, this is so easy to set defenses up from it. Only real way you're going to be able to get in there is like with a Quetzal soaking, I guess. It would be extremely hard though. But yeah, it's a very narrow base spot, so you're not going to be able to fit many dinos in and stuff. But if you're just looking for like a PvP drop base to store a bunch of loot, this spot is perfect for you. Okay, coming in at number four. Now, this is a rat hole that I'm not sure many people have seen it. I haven't actually seen this, like, rat hole in my series either. It's a bit of a random one. But, yeah, as you can see, it's on the top side of a cliff. Entrance is very narrow. I don't think you'd be able to walk a trike or a carbo through there, so you're going to have to be able to throw them through. And, yeah, as you can see, you walk in. There's a big open area. You can probably fit a, fit a rep in there. Maybe a cloning chamber as well. I'm not too sure. I haven't done the build properly. But, yeah, you can go back even further as well. And the rat hole just gets bigger and bigger. Now, it only has one entrance as shown. But, uh, yeah, I'd say this spot's perfect for a six-man. This one could really fit any everything in it. It could fit a TP, cloning chamber, rep, so much stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's our fourth entry in this list. Okay, coming in at number five, I'm going to call this one Waterfall or Toilet. It's on the middle left-hand side of the corruption ag again. Jesus, man just stuttered so hard. But yeah, the basis of this base you can swim under. Someone can't raft raid you through it because obviously there's a wall. You have to go underneath the waterfall. This base spot is huge, as well as that it actually has stuff behind the waterfall that you can build on. Super good, super easy. This base spot's perfect for any, I'd say, four to six man perfect amount you can fit gigas uh, a bunch of other stuff in here you can fit reps cloning chambers you could cliff plat this this really is the perfect base spot for anyone who wants it Okay, coming in at number six is probably a more common one. I see every YouTuber on the planet raiding this rat hole, so I thought I'd include it. Now, it's probably going to get patched, but uh, yeah, I don't know what wildcard are doing leaving this in. As you can see, I'm not sure if this is like an intended hole or anything, but this wall is super narrow. You're going up it for about 10 seconds, so you could set up so many defenses. But not even that, it goes up even further, and you can go right to the tippy top, and there's a little like hole at the back that you could store loot in. 
This rat hole, I'd say, is perfect for any two to four, man. It is a very good spot. It's just weird, man. The textures are all broken up there. I don't know how Wildcard left this in. I'm not going to lie. Okay, and now the one that you're all waiting for, that everyone's been waiting for on every list ever. This is what I call Tube myself. Now, this base spot is obviously in the underwater biome. If you don't know the chords, it's super easy. You go down the drain and it's there. Now, this base spot is huge inside. If you've seen my series, everything is massive. We have cloning chambers. We have the reps. We have, like, two massive devils, like, facing at every pool. This base spot is by far, like s plus plus tier it is so good also it just it, like the interior is incredible it actually looks so nice it's definitely like a a top tier design but uh yeah that does it for this like what was it top seven list i'm sorry if this is so disorganized i rarely like i don't make these videos at all and this is my first one making one but i thought it was about time that i like showed some op spots because you know there's too many of them half of these hopefully get patched because some of them just clearly aren't intended but uh yeah go take these base spots in gen 2 i hope you guys are all having a wonderful gen 2 experience and uh yeah new video tomorrow take care everyone So thank you for Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video once again. If you guys are interested, remember top link in the description. But uh, yeah, take care. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going